Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are starting off strong with a clean and decorate with me of the kitchen area for the Christmas holiday season. So I shared my living room already, my Christmas tree, my coffee bar, and now we are gearing up to do the kitchen. So first I'm going to start off with some cleaning because the sink, of course, I don't know about you, but it totally drives me crazy when it is full of dirty dishes. So I just want to clear off the surfaces and get that load going and then we can be decorating right beside the kitchen sink area. Yeah. yeah, isn't that amazing in Christmas times? We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. So once all the dishes were cleared up, I just grabbed one of my dishwasher pods, placed that in, and then I went ahead and get started on washing those dishes. Luckily, I didn't have any dishes to hand wash on this particular day, so that made the cleanup a little bit faster. And then I did want to give my sink a good cleanup. As you see, it is a white farmhouse sink, so anytime there's like tough to remove stains, it does kind of sit on there for a bit. But the good thing is this thing has lasted so long, I have not had any permanent stains or scratches on it. I just used Barkeeper's Friend on a little brush, kind of scrub it through, and then that brush was already ready to be tossed in the, in the garbage. That's why I used it for the sink on like the more scrubbing surface. Rinse all that out, then it was nice and clear and all white again. And now I'm going to go ahead and put a fresh sponge. These are from Grove and they're like a coconut combination. So it was my first time trying them out. And I can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Then of course, since it's the holiday season, I needed to bring out my new holiday scents. This Snowbound is by far my favorite from Mrs. Myers because I feel like it's not just for the holidays. You literally can use it all winter long. It smells just very soapy and clean, not like I said, too much and overpowering for the holidays. So I just bought the whole collection. I have the soap that I just went ahead and decanted in my spray bottle. I like to put it in this one just because it has the silicone so avoid falling and it matches with my kitchen and then this precious soap dispenser this is probably more for your bathroom but I was like it is too cute not to have it displayed in my kitchen and I think it adds the perfect warmth so then I'm going to go in with the same scent but in the dish soap right beside my kitchen sink Then I love how that little detail was on the right hand side, the Christmas tree, the soap dispenser, and then of course my everyday use spray. And then for the opposite side of the kitchen sink, I thought it would be really nice to just kind of switch out for the fall. You know, I have these beautiful like um, warmer toned like mustard colored and cranberry. But for the for the Christmas time, I of course wanted to add more holiday stems. So I switched it out. It's a really easy, simple fix to kind of move along with the different seasons. And now for my 
high range. This needed a good deep cleaning, so I went ahead and did that. It just got a lot of debris because this is where I usually change out, once again, the wreath space on the season. So I gave that a good wipe down and cleaning with some um, antibacterial spray and then I did want to replace the command hook because I felt like it was a little lower so I removed the original one put this new one and I placed my new holiday wreath which I absolutely love it's so simple yet it adds a nice touch of the greenery Santa's gonna come and join us in this song oh, yeah. Then for these, I just used some neutral color dish towels because I couldn't find my Christmas ones. But good news, I did find them after this video. So I did add those in there. They're just a very soft green color. And then I was like, you know what? Usually I add wreaths to all of my kitchen stools. I wanted them to something a little bit easier and simpler. And honestly, just to switch it up from the norm that I've been doing the past three years. So I decided to add these little mini wreaths actually on the flat lays of my cabinets. The ones, of course, that didn't have like the glass detail. And then I added some ribbon to it this velvet and a chocolate brown since those are pops of color in my living room and then i also made this little chocolate brown bow and i think it came out so cute it's cold outside but the fire keeps us warm we can spend the night underneath the mistletoe and i've gotten you a present that i put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, Then, of course, I had to add our marble and wood Christmas tree boards from our shop, Gasa La Prix, and I think it looks so cute. I love how it looks on the backsplash, and I will be using this to serve cookies on a cookie board for the holiday season. Um, these are actually out of stock, unfortunately, but we do still have the Christmas tree coasters, so I'll have them linked down below. I definitely suggest getting them before they sell out, and then I just add this cute little board on the side with some details, and I think it came really beautifully on the backsplash and simple, and here once again on the opposite corner is what my coffee bar looks like definitely consider hitting subscribing because we have more holiday content coming your way